friends, I believe I shall always remember my last Christmas Eve on that little farm near Washington. The year is 1950, and it was my first Christmas Eve alone. I recall it was a cold, oh, bitterly cold, clear night. The kind of night, however, I love seeing on Christmas Eve. For millions of stars studded the clear heavens, set in a blue background, glistening jewels, like fine cut diamonds. It was my usual custom each evening, just before retiring, to trudge out to the barn, just to see that all was well, to see that the stock was well bedded down for the cold night, that newborn calves and their dams were comfortable. It was on this particular Christmas Eve, I don't believe I'll ever forget it, the electric power was suddenly cut off for some reason or another. So I took the old kerosene lantern down off the shelf. Its chimney was always kept clean, its wick well trimmed. Once outside, the lantern swinging alongside of me made my legs look like a huge giant walking in the dark. The glow of the lantern sort of weaved a strange mystic wheel as I walked. Once inside the barn and holding my lantern high, the yellow glow of its frickling lantern, the light fell on cows fast asleep, and everywhere the pungent smell of hay and warm cow flesh. To my nostrils, friends, it was eh, like rare perfume. I stood there for a brief moment in a silence that I most could hear. Looking all around me, I, I saw white tails of chickens that decked the stanchions like plumes fastened there and drooping like for some pageant long delayed. Gazing in another direction, I saw tiny paws of little baby kittens, paws folded on the breast of the mother cat lost in sleep, lying by yonder wall. Through the clear space on yonder window, long laced of woven frost, too fine for gods, Queen Venus, it seemed, dropped her magic wand across a manger sweet with clover hay. To me, that Christmas Eve, a rich content was there, and over all a gracious royal presence seemed to sway mid misty halos of sweet earthiness. A newborn calf bleated in its sleep, the mother cow loads softly that animal assurance that all was well. A restless cow blew a deep, long, exhausted breath, and then all noises ceased with a silence that I most could hear. I turned taking my last look at the quiet and comfort, and I left the barn, quietly closing the door, and slowly walked back to the house that I almost dreaded entering. For the first time in a good many years, I was alone on Christmas Eve for the first time. And I stood there for one brief moment before retiring when the thought came to my mind. A barn, a stable. 
To my way of thinking, not such a mean or squalid place to be the cradle of the birthplace of the King of Peace. To me, not a bad place. Thank you.